Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're out at Wet n Wild on the Gold Coast. Gonna see what they're doing here, updates wise. I've heard they're starting to pull down some of the old slides, so we'll check that out as well. But cue the end of the music and let's get in there. Okay, let's be quick because I always feel awkward. We can see over here the flow rider is starting to be pulled down. The wave pool looks a hell of a lot busier than it did over White Water World. So let's head this way and we'll see what else we can see. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me over the music, but we can see like the sort of roller coaster thing, whatever you want to call it that was here, is under scrim. So we're not sure if that's being pulled out or they just trying to just do a basic maintenance on it. Saying that, I think let's head down this way towards the more extreme lights and see what we can see out here, okay? So I've just got through this area. We can see one of these picnic areas is completely behind fence. We've got a, some, a few different like big machinery out there doing their thing. And let's get on the corner. Before we get there, I'll show you like a bit close up here. So I can't remember what slide it was here, but it's been completely ripped out now. And what I was trying to point out early on is it looks like black hole is behind fencing and it looks like they've got plastic up there so they're doing something to that as well. So I think let's turn around and check the other side of the park. Just before we head back onto the other side, we can see like the office here for like the off-roading doom buggy thing is gone. So it looks like that's definitely something that's no longer being offered here. At least that's the vibe I'm getting from seeing like the office having been pulled down. Okay. While I make my way back towards the front of the park, I will point out, currently Wet n Wild is actually only operating Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday until the 15th of uh, November. So we can also see that the Lazy River here is down for seasonal operations, so that's annoying. I was kind of hoping that we could go on there and take the GoPro, but let's keep moving around. Okay, we can see the people actually are going around and sanitizing, as well as, even though it's a water park, we have got like these hands-free sanitization stations and these billboards that kind of mean more well, eight frames they did around the park kind of just explain basic information and everything which is cool to see seems like all the slides are up down here there's nothing else to kind of show so i'm gonna go try to get a locker get changed and then jump into it and see how it all goes okay i completely forgot to come down here but we can see that this falls right is also currently closed you can't get anywhere down near there Two hours later. Okay, I guess so that's where I'm going to have to leave it for today. I ended up only being able to get on to two rides. This time wasn't because of any weight or anything like that. However, I have noticed that they have added scales to a lot of the slides, but their weight limits were a lot higher, so there wasn't a thing. However, Wet n Wild is a lot more of like multiple person slides, so because of COVID, they're not putting groups together, so I couldn't do that. So I ended up only going on like the two slides that were like single rider ones. It was fun, I enjoyed myself, but it's very hot today, so I thought earlier day works for me. If you guys have liked what you've seen, please do like, subscribe, and hit the bell, get notified next time I upload. Social bomb screen, like always. Links down below, like always, is a playlist to all of my Gold Coast theme park vlogs, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.